Hi, this is William from New Zealand again. It's been a while since I've put a video up, but this is the new development we're busy with now to obviously connect the Nissan Leaf battery straight out of the car into a solar. Now, there's a few inverters that are accommodating the high voltage battery, which is typically up um, around the 400 volts or a bit less than that. But this is a tw day 20 kilowatt three phase inverter. We've connected it in and I've got two Nissan Leaf batteries straight out of the car that are actually connected directly into it. Um, we've got the voltage range set in the inverter between 340 and 390, which is the approximate range that the Leaf runs. Um, that's just a Leaf Spy uh, dongle that I've got running mod monitoring the voltage range. It seems to be as happy as anything. And Obviously, the cables all end up a lot smaller, or those are big because just, I've just used the, the original tails out of the, the original plugs out of the car. But obviously, it makes all the wiring less. Um, and I've had it running for a few weeks now. It's running as happy as. Um, I'm just running it on the backup side of the inverter. So um, the backup side can obviously, and these can handle the full 20 kilowatts as can the charging of the battery. So um, basically, in the, I don't have solar panels on this even, but just when power is cheap at night, I charge the batteries up and I run off the batteries during the day. So even if you can't accommodate solar panels, you could still do, use this as a cheap option and have um, a power supply if the grid had to go down. So, and on the backup side, there's zero, there's zero transfer time. It doesn't switch a computer off or anything. So keeping it simple, that's a plug and play into it. We're just um, mastering a simple BMS connection method because this inverter um, can handle up to um, four BMSs into it. So um, there are other inverters that do the high voltage battery. I'm not sure of their capability of BMS. So in due course, um, I'll post a bit more on this and we just want to work out a total plug and play. Um, there's no money to be made out of this. So this is just something free to everyone because the Nissan Leaf batteries are starting to become more readily available now. And um, the inverters are becoming more capable, especially getting to be able to accommodate a high voltage battery. Bye for now.